the six weeks that I became a real bike racer and completely committed myself to being the best that I could possibly be, which was the six weeks leading up to the 92 Worlds. And 17 years was probably the only time that I was completely invested in my performance as an athlete. I'm Mike McCarthy, 17 year bike racing career, a number of which were as a pro. When I was 13 or 14, we moved uptown to an apartment that was a block from Central Park. It wasn't necessarily the nicest neighborhood. My mom, she was concerned about what I was gonna do after school. She suggested that I might get a bike for my birthday and she said, go spend 200 bucks. And I remember finally convincing her, getting over the edge to get me a bike that cost 327 bucks. And it was this Raleigh team replica bike with tubulars. And that was the start of bike racing for me. I spent every day after school and the evenings and the weekends in Central Park. Mike McCarthy, very experienced in this kind of race. It would be difficult to name a race in which Mike McCarthy is not real experienced. If there's somebody better, I don't know who it is. If I had a defining moment in my career, it was certainly winning Pro Worlds in 92, but that just didn't happen. It's a process. It was the first time that I felt like technology played a huge role in performance. Getting the perfect helmet is it's a big benefit. It's always gonna be out there in the wind, and if you can optimize the shape, you're gonna be faster. So I was super fortunate in 92 because it just so happened that the fastest helmet out there was also really optimized for my shape as a rider. Chop tail, so I didn't necessarily have to get it down and flat and hugging my back with a long tail. It was really, I think, tech before its time. So I got together with Koichi Yamaguchi, who was a local frame builder. And I said, Koichi, I need a solution. The world is in two weeks and I need a bike. So he pulled these drawings out of his flat file drawers and he said, how about this crazy bike? I don't know if it's fast or not, but it looks cool, so let's build it and, and go. So I paid him for the materials and he built the bike. First time I rode it, it felt good. And I figured, okay, I have a fast bike and a fast helmet, the Bell Vortex, and I can compete with any equipment that's out there. And just that little bit of extra sight, I was able to convince myself more than anyone that it was possible to win. Your ability to deal with adversity in, in tough situations is the difference between being good and being great. I rode five, six days in a row after I won my world championship. And when I came back, I couldn't ride my bike for 10K. So I got some tests done and it turned out that I had this mysterious Epstein-Barr virus. So it was a long road back, started from the bottom and worked my way back up and back into the national team program. Went back to the Olympics in 1996. To the, to the uh, semifinals, 1.455 now. So it's all important. It is certainly not over yet, the way they weakened in the last kilometer this morning. Winning the Goodwill Games in 1998 and the performance that I was able to pull off at that event on the home track was really among my, my most special memories. Well, Mike McCarthy has made the right move at the right time. He made the perfect move and like you said. I've always said I refuse to be defined by an activity or an avocation, anything. But I think when they dig the hole for me, it's gonna have to say that I was a bike racer, that I was a cyclist. It's in my DNA. It's something that I'll do until my last days.